Good afternoon, welcome to the Nest in St. George. Happy New Year, the first game of the year for the St. George Ravens. The Ravens even record as they come into 2023. 14 wins, 14 losses, and an overtime loss. They host the Northumberland Stars this afternoon. The Stars coming in five games under 500 in the South Division. Joining us at this time, the number 98 forward, Reese Furtado. Reese, we spoke a couple of weeks ago. You're showing visible signs of improvement since that time. You had an injury to your right arm. Can you explain to the viewer when and where that injury took place? Yeah, so uh, it happened a couple of weeks ago in Tottenham and uh, I just had an AC joint separation on my right shoulder. It took me out for the month of December, so hopefully I'm able to come back maybe next week or the week prior. So you hope to be back within a couple of weeks. Um, do you think you'll be back to your regular self at that point? Uh, or, or will, you, will your role be perhaps diminished due to the injury? No, uh, with the physio that I've been doing, I feel like I should be back to the way I play my game. I don't think there should be any problems with that, honestly. How were your holidays? Uh, did you get a chance to see the World Juniors at all? Yeah, John, thanks for asking. Uh, you know, they were good. I spent a lot of time with my family. My sister came back, so we did a lot of family activities, you know. I uh, saw my friends who came back from university, so all good there. Uh, the World Juniors, I did watch a few games, you know, it's good that Canada won, I'm happy for that, but yeah. Nice intimate atmosphere being that it's in Halifax this year, they go to Sweden next year, World Juniors back in Canada in a few years time. Um, the Ravens have had some prolific offenses in the past. Now, you started off the year real hot, two goals in the season opener here against the Niagara Predators. Do you see that as part of your game when you come back? Um, do you see the goal scoring output improving as you return to the lineup? Yeah, you know, John, obviously in the beginning of the season, I had that good game. Um, a few good games after that, but unfortunately I was out with a couple of injuries this season. Uh, I, I do see myself being uh, contributing a lot to the lineup, especially in the offensive aspect of the game. Now we've seen the first of changes here in the, in the new year. Owen Niamika added to the lineup, Tyson Klimziak and Brent Thompson as well from the Tottenham Thunder. How do you see those new players contributing to this Ravens squad? Uh, yeah, you know, we lost a few guys too, but you know, with the new addition to the team, I feel like we can really have a good run to the playoffs here. Obviously we're building for that and we're building for a championship team. Uh, with Owen and Nett, he put up a good fight last game against Windsor. And uh, the two uh, Tonham players, uh, the defender that we acquired from Tonham, 
He's been good. He's been strong uh, on the blue line as well as uh, Tyson. I know he's a good fast forward in practice. He's been he's been really good with the team. You know, the guys that we acquired, they're really good guys, good room guys. So it's all good there. Now, you currently sit at 500. If you could pick one key point of improvement, five home games remaining, five away games as you approach the playoffs, what would that one improvement be that you would like to see? You're just sticking to the systems, really. Wade Club and Ross, our assistant coach, are both put in really good systems and good work into this team. We just got to stick to those to really accomplish what you want to. Get a good spot going into the playoffs and... From there, it goes on, really. Do you have anything else to add? Anything we may have missed here that you feel is important to 2023 as you approach the South Division playoffs? Uh, nothing really, just just the team in general, how, how we're so new and how everyone's come together and we really made a really good junior team here. From the start of the season to now, everyone's bonded, everyone's enjoyed being with each other, there's always smiles in the room and it's just a really good atmosphere going into games. You're still young, do you see, do you see yourself moving forward with this team, say next year or the year after? You still have some years of eligibility remaining. Yeah, it's, it's a little too soon to, uh, to talk about that, I gotta say, but I, I do like the organization here at St. George, coaching the players, the guys, and I feel like a core of this team will really be together for the next few coming years. Uh, but yeah, you know, again, it's a little too soon to address that. But overall, it's a really good team and I like playing here. Reese, thank you very much for your time and best of luck in 2023. Thank you, John.
to the Gockel Memorial Community Center, the nest here in St. George, as the Ravens set to host their first home game of 2023. Starting in net off to our left for the visitors, wearing the number 50, Lucas Novi. Novi an even six and six on the year, a 348 goals against average. 
And starting in net off to our right, the newest addition to the St. George Ravens, the former Wellesley Applejack of the PJHL, Owen Niamitka. Niamitka 1-0 after the 5-4 win in Windsor last night. Opening draw won by Bright, but it's immediately intercepted by Lorenzo Sullivan. In deep momentarily behind the Raven net. Bright brings it out off to the wing for Simon Otaki. Quick backhand by Bright. And it just misses the far side. Intercepted by Thomas Murphy. Down deep on the corner, played by the defender, Harry Pollard Dahl. Sullivan tied up with Noah Bright. Excuse me. Bright down the right wing side. Gibbs chasing for the Stars. Murphy the tip down the near wing and Nia Mitka out of the Raven net to play it to the near corner. Pass eludes Cummings as he's looking for the interception. Warren A, the long shoot in. Gathered in by the Northumberland defense. 115 in, no score. Stars victorious in their last outing, 6-3 over the Tottenham Thunder. Centering pass for Papadopoulos. Can't hang on to the pass on the forehand. Now in behind the net is Jaden coming. He's tied up with Cam Ison momentarily, the Raven captain. Shot by Sheldon Purchase. It's hammered wide off the back wall and comes all the way out of the zone back to the right defense. Jaden coming, the tip in. Grabbed by the Ravens as Jake Thompson, the newcomer, shifts gears. Sheldon intercepts. He goes for a high wrist shot. But the shot by Justice Sheldon, high and off the glass, interception by Malcolm Campbell, goes around the inside corner looking for a pass, no one there, and it's taken away by the Stars defense and cleared the length of the ice. Smeared off, centering pass, hit the side of the net or the pass from the far side rather. Took a rather awkward bounce there. Hit the net on the near side, but no further harm. Shelton, all alone on the right side, elects to take the shot. Gibbs tries to keep it in, but it's forced out by Campbell. Quick pace to start, nearing the four minute mark. Not a whistle as of yet. Happy 2023. Hope you had a great Christmas and New Year's. Jacob Schuker passed deep down the far side. Stars coming in five games under 500, two overtime losses. But both teams on a streak of one. Murphy over the wing. The shot over the high left wing. Lorenzo Sullivan quick wrist shot. Nathan Ketchison the backhand goes wide. Thomas Murphy the shot. And a solid check by Schuker. Murphy still slow to get up. He'll go straight off to the bench. Checking his lower lip with his right hand for blood. A heavy check by Schuker. Cross ice pass. Gibbs up to center. Sullivan shifts gears. Gathers speed in the corner. And he's knocked off the puck by Brent Thompson. The newest addition to the Raven defense. 
Eisen through the top of the blue line. Sullivan breaks it up. Owen Toddington bouncing puck through the neutral zone back to the Stars defense. Pollard Dahl Gibbs misses the puck on the possible interception. Bo Stevenson, the ex Raven. A player that at the time the Ravens management wanted to keep. Shot Pollard Dahl, the follow through. Otaki with the initial shot doesn't get through to the net. Jaden coming up to Sheldon Purchase. Topped away. Otaki the shot. Coming shifts it over to his left to purchase. <coughs> shot from a bad angle. Neo Mitka the save anyway. Shot from the left side. Stars elect to shoot from anywhere. Sheldon Purchase looking for the game's opening goal. Six minutes without a whistle. We're at exactly the 14 minute mark. What a pace to start 2023. Draw one by Campbell. Comes back to the Stars defense left side. Robertson winds up the shot and the glove save with the underside of the right hand. Smeared off in the draw opposite Campbell. Campbell two goals and two assists last night for the game's number two star. Nia Mitka set 57 saves, a 369 goals against average in his debut. They shot by Brent Thompson. Thompson and Tyson Klimziak acquired by the Tottenham Thunder. Ben Cunningham, Luca Del Rizzo, now free agents, and Hunter Rancourt sent to the McKenzie Mountaineers. Has yet to play a game himself, so his rights sent to the West. We thank those players for the contribution to the Raven organization. And we welcome Nia Mitka, this afternoon's starter. Tyson Klimziak and Brent Thompson, the ex-Tottenham Thunder forward and defenseman, respectively. Saved side of the net by Lucas Novi. Tottenham Thunder really struggling as of late. On a nine-game losing streak, so they're headed in the opposite direction. Five games over 500 prior to the all the deletions to their roster. Dennis Golovachev, one of those departing players, now on the Muskoka Shield, was the December forward of the month. Philippe Farlado, their leading scorer at the time, Sent to the North Division by the Thunder. Golovachev spent time with the Kingston Frontenacs. 61 games played in the OHL. Along with stints with three OJHL teams. Pass around the board. Sullivan there first ahead of 
Roll and Eisen. Pass to Murphy over the right wing side. The shot and Neo Mike, uh, the save down low at the near corner. I'm John Molson, as always, at the Nest in St. George. Thanks for joining us in 2023. Ten games remaining in the regular season for the Ravens. Five home and five away. As Papadopoulos to take the draw for the Stars. Noah Bright for the home side. Three players off to the right of Bright. So no defensemen off the draw. Being as they're so deep in their own zone from the right circle. And a late change by the Stars now as Pavel Smirnov takes his spot on the left wing side closest to the net. Bit of a surprise there. Would have thought the home side would get last change. Two on one right off the draw. Taki the shot down low. And Lucas Novi has to be careful in between the legs. <laughs> Makes a save with 11.33 on the clock. Draw will come out to his right. Puck in behind the net. Otaki there first. Digging for possession behind the net are the Ravens. Throw it to the near wing side, centering pass. Stars grab possession. Sheldon purchased the pass out of the corner. Now he's dumped by Ben Sachs. 55 seconds to the midway point. Linesman motioning to the bench. Raven bench. He had his arms extended. Looked like he might be calling a cross check there. Smeared off in the draw. Cutting the angle off the draw is Neo Mika. Socks up the near wing board for Bright. Good for the Ravens to acquire a defenseman in Thompson. Where that was one of their weaknesses throughout the first half. Injuries to Cam Ison, Ben Sachs. Short as many as three defensemen at various points during the year. Pass ahead to Shulkin. Misses the pass on the forehand side. And it goes for icing. Draw will come out to the left-hand side of Lucas Novi. Novi out of the... Czech Republic, 30 career games in the GMHL, his rookie year last year with the Stars posting a 462 goals against average, shot by Brent Thompson sales wide. Smirnoff loses possession of the puck. Brent Thompson takes a bump. Solid hit by Kyle Boyd. Centering pass. Smirnoff the shot. Tries to go top shelf. An excellent right glove hand up high by the Ravens' newest netminder. Draw will come out to 
No, they'll change sides. They'll go to the right circle. So Nia Mitka will cut the angle at his left hand side, angled toward the near board. Pass cross ice broken up by Robertson. Heavy shot in by Warren A down the right side. He goes on a change. Pass up ahead. Thomas Murphy, Nathan Ketchison misses the pass slightly in behind his back. Bouncing puck dangerously in the slot. Murphy got enough of it to shift it to the wing for Lorenzo Sullivan. Heavy bump along the corner. Gibbs and Matt Brady get physical. Ketchison gives him a bit of a bump on the left side, halfway down the body as well. Nia Metka, a 244 goals against average. Brought here to St. George for the purpose of garnering more playing time. Played just three games this year with the Wellesley Applejacks. Played previously with the Plattsville Lakers when they were in the GMHL. Now a part of the Western Ontario Super Hockey League, the WOSHL. That's senior double A, so the Lakers have changed leagues. 8.23 on the clock. Draw back to the right side. A swoop pass all the way around the boards. Ison receives it from Thompson, and now Thompson keeps it in momentarily before it's broken up by Bo Stevenson, the ex-Raven. Marisantz loses possession of the puck. Ison speeding around the left side defender. Grayson Jim, the shot. Bad giveaway on the right side. Malcolm Campbell looking for his third goal in as many games. The Stars victory against the Tottenham Thunder. They won 6-3 back on Friday night. That's now up on GMHL.TV. Keep checking for last night's Ravens game in Windsor. Aces games not live stream, so we're still waiting on the arrival of last night's game. Face-off won by the Ravens. Aiden Waite on the forehand. Coming down the right wing hard. Drops for Sheldon Purchase. Shot hits a body and the Ravens quickly bring it back the other way. Backhand pass up in the air by Otaki. Shot by Ben Sachs. 7.04 on the clock. Six minutes went by without a whistle to start 2023. Pass to Otaki. Gibbs jumps in front of it. They shot high off the glass. And it forces Bo Stevenson back inside his own blue line. Jaden coming off to the left. Toddington coming. Throws it into the Raven zone momentarily, but Papadopoulos dumped in the neutral zone. Looks like an interference call coming up to Owen Toddington.
Tottenham may continue their gradual slide down the South Division standings. Niagara Predators just four points behind for the number six spot. Looked for a lot of the year like Ravens and the Tottenham Thunder. Might be a second round playoff matchup, the four or five seats after they get done the one game play-ins. Pass ahead, Bo Stevenson giving chase. Six minutes to go in the first period of play. 125 on the penalty kill to Owen Toddington. Pass up the wing, Murphy missing the pass. And Nia Mitka sticking up the right arm and icing. Ravens will get a shorthanded opportunity as the faceoff will go deep in the star zone from the left circle. Ison, Schuker on the left wing. Starks won the draw clean all the way up around the boards. Pavel Smirnov, quick draw pass. Catches in behind the net. Rounds the corner, drops for Stevenson, the shot. Robertson looking for a rebound, but it's picked up and cleared. Novi out of the net to play it. Stevenson shifts it over to the left. Eisen chasing the left winger. Centering pass, digging. Ketchison says it's in. Murphy as well. A tap in from the far side. Looks like Robertson will get credit for the goal. Aiden Robertson with 5.14 on the clock. Looked like it just sneaked over the line far side. Tough angle to tell on from our broadcast location and very little. Murphy and Robertson raised their arms, but no real emphatic celebration by any means. Murphy and Ketchison the assist. Fourteen forty six, the official time of the goal. Second interference call <coughs> of the period. So the only two calls of the period, both interference calls. This time it goes in favor of the Ravens as Campbell to take the draw. Cam Ison on the left point. Brent Thompson on the right. Ravens huddle OJ Singh on the right wing. He'll be closest to the net off the draw. So Ravens look to a set play here. Campbell can't find it. Finally shovels it back to Toddington off the draw. Thompson under the end line switches to the near corner. Campbell dished off to the far side for Ison, and it's intercepted behind the net by the Stars assistant captain. Stevenson able to clear the length of the ice.
Eisen picked up speed as he hit the empty space in behind the Stars net. Eisen down the near wing for Thompson. Interception by the Stars. Played back to Stevenson. Papadopoulos obviously looking to just kill time there. Jacob Schuker to the left side of the blue line with speed. Stops up high, dishes it below the end line. Shot by Otaki. Novi gets enough of it with Bright at the near corner of the net. Allows the Stars to clear. Aiden Waite with speed. Took it all by himself. Crossed through the neutral zone from the far right side. So cross pass. Ravens unable to find shot. Sullivan speeding down through the high slot. Schuker knocked him off the puck. Stars back to full strength, directed into the corner. Gibbs lets it go, throwing around the boards. Warren A with all kinds of room. Hit back to the boards. That's one thing I noticed in the World Juniors when your back was to the boards. Especially that one call in the opening game for Canada of the tournament. The one Czechia player three feet off the boards. And the Canadian forward given a match penalty. Murphy, Thompson off the High part of the center of the blue line. Now Spencer D'Souza to the corner for Eisen. Eisen falls to his knees. Trying to corral the bouncing puck. Thompson back to Eisen. Eisen with room. D'Souza looks for the deflection. Warren A as well on the near side. Ravens with their best scoring chance of the period as we approach the one minute mark. Eisen, D'Souza. D'Souza right side of the blue line. He's checked off the puck by Ketchison. Bo Stevenson pass up through center for Sullivan, near side, Thomas Murphy, the shot, rips a wrist shot, far side, past Nia Mitka, 2-0 for the Stars. Thomas Murphy, his second point of the period, at the 19-15 mark. Thomas Murphy second on the Stars in scoring. That's his 17th goal. Now 36 points on the year. Sullivan and Robertson. Robertson with the second assist, his second point of the game as well. After scoring the opening marker at the 1446 mark. 12.3 on the clock. Looks like an offside on the Ravens. Malcolm Campbell after four points last night looking for a final shot to the opening frame. 
Schuker loses possession. Sheldon Purchase knocked off the puck. Harry Pollard dull. HPD for short. Shot down into the near corner as the period ends. 2-0 for the Stars at the first intermission. So the shots relatively close. Low shots off both sides. Nine shots for the Ravens, ten for the Stars, but the Stars make their make the best of the opportunity. Thomas Murphy scoring on the wrist shot to the far side of the net, beating Nia Mitka halfway up the twine. Two-nothing stars at the first intermission. You're watching GMHL South Division Hockey live on YouTube and GMHL.TV. Thanks for watching. Back with action from the middle frame in a few moments.
Welcome back. Shots 10 to 9 in favor of the visiting Northumberland Stars, and they have the 2 0 lead following one period of play. Thomas Murphy, the wrist shot off the right side, moving in off the point, beating Owen Niamitka clean. The first goal of the game coming off the stick of Aiden Robertson, his seventh of the year on the power play. The short tap in from the far corner. Malcolm Campbell out to center the opening draw in this middle frame. Opposite Murphy goal scorer number two. Murphy scored that goal at the 19-15 mark. Ravens will be looking towards some of the magic Campbell had last night in the 5-4 win over Windsor. Robertson up the boards for Murphy. Campbell with the game winner last night. The winning goal going unassisted. And again, that game not up yet on GMHL.TV. So a reminder to keep looking. Nathan catches in the pass over the right side. But it hops over the blade of Gibbs. Murphy now backtracking momentarily over the left wing for Ketchison. Eisen giving chase a bump on the backside. And touched now in behind the net by Henry Pollard Dahl. Quick shot down low. Murphy. Taking two whacks at it. Nathan catches in there as well. Trying to bat goal number three past Niamika. Northumberland in the number seven spot in the South Division. Two games in hand on the Niagara Predators. Jin the pass into the zone on the backhand. Up for Aiden Way, intercepted briefly by Papadopoulos. Schuker got it as far as neutral ice before it's picked off once again by Stevenson. Jaden coming to the wing. Sheldon purchased the shot. Hits the side of the net. Coming looking for two whacks at the puck near side. Two minutes gone, second period of play. Quick back pass by Cumming. Intercepted by Schuker. Wait the other way. Touched by the assistant captain, Bo Stevenson. Ravens may see an earlier start to the playoffs this year. Although the West Division goes into the first week of March. Ravens finishing up their regular season with a home game on the 19th of February. Last year, the first round going through the 5th of March. A real chance for the Ravens with games in hand to get home ice advantage, but the Thunder the Predators also with many games in hand. Six games in hand for the Predators on the Tottenham Thunder. Thunder on a nine-game losing streak have lost five of their six leading scores. Dennis Golovachev, OHL experience. Philippe Farlado sent to the north, and they've really been, they've been losing players since that point forward. Farlado sent to the north division. Congratulations to the def 
December Players of the Month. All, already talked about Golovacev. Caden Desjardins, the Defenseman of the Month for the High Prairie Red Wings. Two-time defending West Division champions. Went to just about mid-season before they lost a game this year. Maxime O'Day played just two games in December. He was the goaltender of the month for the Ville Marie Pirates. I covered both of those games back at Showcase. What an opportunity for O'Day to pass to Ison. Looks for a shot on the forehand and rifles it into the midsection of Lucas Novi. O'Day defeating both the North Division and South Division leaders in the Bradford Rattlers and North York Renegades. With the wrist shot from the left circle and the hard save by Novi. Nonetheless, the Ravens to the power play. OJ Singh, Campbell, and Toddington up front. Paul or Daw. <laughs> Excuse me. Turnaround shot off the boards. Apologies on the issues with my voice this afternoon. Campbell, the shot, deflects off the shot of Papadopoulos. Spent a good portion of my holidays with the flu. Had some back spasms as well. Ended up in the emergency room at Norfolk General Hospital. So there you go. It's not just the players, folks. You're shot by Dahl. Another save in the midsection by Novi. Announcers can get sick too, so spent much of my holidays in recuperation mode. Have some lower back issues. My chiropractor has done some previous work with the Paris Mounties just minutes down the road. 59 seconds remaining on the Ravens power play. A whistle away from the play. Two minutes for interference. Henry Pollard Dahl to the box. The third interference call of the game. 2-0 stars. No scoring in this second period. Aiden Robertson and Thomas Murphy, the first period goals. Blake Tarala, the top rookie for December, playing with the Durham Roadrunners. Shot sails wide. Tarala, a netminder with a three and one record on the year. Four on four hockey as the rammed hard into the boards is Ben Sachs. Ravens took an interference call, so they'll. Stars were scheduled to go the power play for about a minute and 21 seconds when the penalties offset. Robertson over to the bench, closest to the penalty box. 
see if anything results on the oh, the trainer, the left hand on the lower back of Sachs. I know how that feels. To tie that in, that's exactly where my back spasms were. Spent nine and a half hours in the emergency room. Was out in plenty of time for a nice Christmas dinner though, so. Hope you and your family had a very Merry Christmas and a Hope you all have a very prosperous new year as well. Meaford 5-0 over the Bancroft Rockhounds. There's just 47 seconds remaining in that contest. North York and Streetsville A 3.45 start, so they're just underway. Nothing to report as of yet. And getting back to the situation in Tottenham, I, I believe that started the nine game losing streak. Streetsville with just three victories on the year and that was one of them when they downed the Thunder. Ravens organization would like to thank Ben Cunningham, Hunter Rancourt, the shot by Aiden Waite, and Lucas Novi, the hard save down low, and Luca Del Rizzo for their contributions to the team and we welcome Neo Mike Neo Mick uh, Tyson Klimziak who's yet to play a game for the Ravens Brent Thompson in his second game here this afternoon as the Ravens make a few changes towards their push and pursuit toward the 2023 Russell Cup shot by Robertson down low and wide they shot from the right side knocked down by Noah Bright shot in Stevenson back for the Stars pass to center Smirnoff can't find his way through traffic Novi out of the net to clear the puck down the right side. The whistle goes. Smirnoff leads the Stars in points. Over a point and a half a game. Smirnoff mostly a setup man. 13 goals, 22 assists on the year. Has yet to hit the score sheet here this afternoon a 2-0 lead for the visitors as Murphy looking for his second point shot and Nia Mitka the save down low near side draw will come out to the left circle Papadopoulos Congratulations to Team Canada, the World Juniors. What a tournament that was. Shane Wright's been already sent back to the Kingston Frontenacs. That caught me by a bit of surprise. Although the AHL players are much older in terms of experience. Shane Wright, just 19 years old, scored his first NHL goal just prior to the juniors against the Montreal Canadiens. A couple of the world juniors have been traded to the Peterborough Peets. Peets have picked up three or four players as they gear up 
for a run at the OHL championship and possible Memorial Cup. They picked up two of the gold medal winners off Team Canada. And also picked up slick forward Avery Hayes from the Hamilton Bulldogs as well as another player. Bulldogs in a bit of a rebuild year after going to the Memorial Cup final last year. Neil Mitka to the corner. Grabbed on the backhand side by Sukla. Harry Pollard Dahl, long pass through the neutral zone to the star side. OJ Singh the shot. The juice looks to cut the deficit to one. A quick wrister, Novi the save. 11.33 on the clock. Right in the draw, opposite Smirnoff. Pavel Smirnoff wins the draw, but it bounces to a Raven on the right wing side at the half wall, cleared around the far corner, intercepted by Aiden Waite. Cam Eisen back to Waite, up to Otaki, stretches for the pass, and picked off by Bo Stevenson. Shot a diving. Justice Shelgen. Long dump in. Eisen, the captain, to recover it down the far half wall. Kept in by Ethan Powell. Pass off the back wall. Collected by Smirnoff. Turnaround shot, hard off the back wall. Ended up on the right side. Boyd the turnaround. Partial block by Cam Ison or Bright, excuse me. So Ison dumped right side of the net. The Raven right defender taken out of the play and they'll go to the power play as a result. 10.35 on the clock. Buffalo Bills back in action this afternoon. Hosting the New England Patriots. Good to see DeMar Hamlin, the Bills safety doing better. Was revived Monday night on Monday Night Football. Took a hit to the heart and just suddenly collapsed. Hamlin woke up. The doctor said you won the game of life. He wondered who won the football game. That game was suspended and will not be replayed. The NFL has decided to go on win percentage rather than replay the bills Bengals game. They're also talking that due to the incident, the Chiefs, Bills, and Bengals all at the top of the AFC that the AFC championship may be played on a neutral field. 
Wrist shot on the forehand by Pollard Dahl. Glove down by Novi. Be interesting to see what the Kansas City Chiefs reaction is to that. It may end up to their disadvantage if they base it off that one game best win percentage based on the game not played between the Bills and Bengals. Wait the shot, the deflection in front of the net. Noah Bright, the redirect. Novi's been sharp. Ravens with nine shots on goal in the first. I'd say they picked up the pace in terms of shots in this middle frame. Way down below the goal line. Now Ison from the top of the slot. Shot blocked by Robertson. Brent Thompson over to the left, back to Thompson, the shot, the rebound. Waite tries to bring it in. Lucas Chapman, Tommy McQuiston. Robbie Rodio. Anthony Gildice. Guidice, excuse me. Alexander Smirnoff, the number one goalie. Wearing number one, I don't mean one in terms of positioning. They're all scratches this afternoon for the Stars. Joseph Weber and Derek Bush, as well as Adams and the newcomer Klimziak, scratch for the Ravens. Talk to Reese Furtado before the game. He hopes to be back within a couple of weeks. The The right shoulder progressing nicely. Basically what amounted to a separated right shoulder for Furtado. Gibbs pass far side, 7.32 on the clock. Broken up by Matt Searles. Catches and in behind the net. Turnaround shot on the giveaway. Sullivan goes high. Lorenzo Sullivan. Down the far side, centering cross ice pass, shot by Jin off the blue line. Sullivan looking for his seventh goal on the year, his 10th overall point. Pass out to the right side. Smeared off for Sheldon Purchase. Neo Mitka the save. Neo Mitka from a personal standpoint. It's an improvement to his game already just based on playing time. In his second straight game. Got in only three games all year with the Wellesley Applejacks of the PJHL. Bo Stevenson to Powell. Ethan Powell up the left wing. 
evades the stick of Papadopoulos. Picked off by Schuker up the boards. Pass down by the far end line. Schuker chops it hard around the near boards, goes all the way down the ice. Schuker, 18 years old, a big young man, 6'2", 225 pounds. Out of the Hamilton Huskies AAA system. Played six games last year for the Port Dover Sailors. Shot right side, Schuker knocking the net off, 4.55 on the clock. No score to report yet between North York and Streetsville. Temiskaming Titans and Bradford Rattlers, a 7.30 start. Ville Marie and South Muskoka, the other late game, both 7.30 starts. No home game next week for the Ravens, so just a friendly reminder. In Durham tomorrow night is St. George. So be sure to catch that one on GMHL.TV and YouTube as well. Be sure to subscribe and like us on YouTube. Simply clicking on the link at GMHL will take you GMHL.TV. Will take you straight to the YouTube feed. Upcoming games for the Ravens Friday, January the 13th against these same Northumberland Stars. That's the Stars' next opponent. They don't have another game until the Ravens are in Friday night. Bradford Bulls on January the 18th, an 8 p.m. start. And then the Ravens back here Sunday, January the 22nd, the usual 3 p.m. start time. So maybe the off week, perhaps a good chance for you to come on out to the family public skate. Wait up ahead for Otaki. A large crowd this afternoon, I'd say well over 100 skaters. Shot the redirect by Shelton. Boy, the Kyle boy, the initial backhand pass looked harmless, but Shelton gets enough of the puck on the backhand to swipe it in the far side. Three nothing for the Stars. Three forty nine to go in the second period. Justice Shulkin. Shulkin, his 10th of the year, his 18th overall point. And the Stars extend their lead. Number five, Kyle Boyd. Ranking number seven. Pavel Smirnov, the team's leading scorer, gets his first point on the afternoon. Bump on the boards. OJ taken out heavily. The shot going upstairs. Toddington goes high. Another shot, Toddington left wide open on the turnover right wing side. Sullivan to center, 
and intercepted by Toddington once again. So Owen Toddington, an excellent shift. Two shots and forcing a turnover. Here he is again, the shot, the rebound. Two cracks at it. The second shot by Toddington goes up over top the net. Matt Searles, pass too far for Campbell. And the pass goes for Icing. Campbell in the draw. Opposite the number 25 forward, Simeon Papadopoulos. Shot by Stevenson, winds up on the forehand. Caught a piece of Brent Thompson's right skate. Enough to allow the Ravens to move quickly down the left wing side. Campbell sends his man Powell flying backwards. Thompson the shoot in. Bo Stevenson back for the Stars. Battle for possession down in the near corner. Brent Thompson, Jaden Cummings spun inside out by Rowan Eisen. Shot down low, pops straight up in the air. Spencer D'Souza the shot. Lucas Novi fortunate there. Made the initial save and then the possible rebound went straight up to his left hand. Simply extended the arm, made the save. Bright wins the draw, comes to the corner. Shulkin, goal scorer number three. Shot down low. In between the feet, Robertson looking to clear the puck. Inside the last minute of play now. Smirnoff shifts gears in past the captain Ison. Drop to the right side wall. Shot goes wide. Turnaround pass into the slot. Smirnoff a Pollard doll slid across trying to block it. Looking for a rebound on the right side was Kyle Boyd. Talked right off the stop the start of the period. Need to get Malcolm Campbell more involved. He's out there now to take the draw. 41 seconds remaining in the period. Campbell scored over a point a game while the Plottsville Lakers were in this division. Quite an accomplishment for a Laker team that struggled to find wins. 15 goals, 27 assists, 42 points for Campbell last season. The shot in. Nia Mitka covers up. Pressure high up the right wing side. Nia Mitka smartly hangs on with Ketchison on the doorstep. Just five seconds remaining in the period. Thomas Murphy in the draw. Campbell for the Ravens. Campbell tried to force it back. Shot, they score. A no-look pass by Campbell. Off the face-off win, proves costly. Quick shot from the right side. Lorenzo Sullivan. I think that's clearly in. The stars were celebrating. 
as the horn went. Two stars went straight to the bottom of the goal crease. Twenty-two eighteen. So the shots remain low. Shots in favor of the stars. A real contrast from the well over a hundred shots in last night's game in Windsor. So the Ravens crack down defensively in terms of the in terms of allowing shots. Nonetheless, near the buzzer, Lorenzo Sullivan sneaks in in behind the Malcolm Campbell face-off win. Puts it in down low. 4-0 stars after 40 minutes. You're watching the Greater Metro Hockey League GMHL South Division action on GMHL.tv and YouTube. Two goals apiece per period for the Stars. And the visitors lead four to nothing after two. We'll be back in a few minutes time with period three action. Thanks for watching GMHL.TV and YouTube. Back in a few minutes.
Welcome back. The St. George Ravens with a bit of a hill to climb as we are set to begin this third period. 4-0 for the visitors. Two goals in each frame. Justice Shelkin in the second at the 349 mark. And Lorenzo Sullivan shoveling it in the far corner right at the buzzer. Lucas Novi perfect through two periods and Spencer D'Souza to take the draw. Warnay on the left wing. Thomas Murphy to center the draw for the Stars. He has a first period goal. Sullivan and Robertson assisting on the second goal of the game. Well, that can't be right. The second assist going to Gavin Hogg, the backup goaltender. And Novi still in the net. Can clearly see Hogg on the left side of the bench. Motioning to the Stars assistant coach. So I'm sure that second assist will get changed on the Lorenzo Sullivan goal. We have a score from the Streetsville North York game. 4-0 for the Renegades. Possible shot knocked down by Campbell. North York looking for their 27th victory on the season. 52 points currently to lead the Bradford Bulls by five points. Jin pressured by Campbell on the far side. Forces a shot out of play. That's a, must have hit a stick. That was a penalty in the World Juniors. 
Saw delay of game called several times. Papadopoulos on the draw, on the corner. Cummings digs it out from below the end line, giving chase is Powell. Campbell up high for the Ravens, along with O.J. Singh. Defense, Powell regrouping behind his own net briefly. Singh loses possession down the left wing side, winds up the shot. Going high on the Neo Metka seemed to have trouble. Managed to knock down the puck enough to keep it in front of him. Went up high toward the right shoulder. Papadopoulos in the draw. Ravens take possession off the draw, give it away below the end line. And trying to force the issue with a jab is Papadopoulos, stick low to the ice. Thought Papadopoulos may take a penalty. Seemed to move his head toward the right side out of frustration. Perhaps frustrated that he couldn't elevate the puck toward the far side of the net. He stayed in to take the draw. So all the afternoon games just about complete. Bradford Rattlers and Tomiskaming. Rattlers the home team in that one going later tonight a 7.30 start. Ravens in Durham tomorrow night. Catch that on GMHL.TV. Last game of this evening, Ville Marie hosting the South Muskoka Shield. Three minutes gone, third period. All-star game coming up in Bancroft. Sheldon Purchase tries a shot from the right side. It's blocked. Shot, quick wrist shot, and the shutout now gone on the perfectly placed wrister by Rowan Eisen. Goes upstairs on Novi. The Ravens strike first in the third. Time of the goal, 3.42. Matthew Suzuki going to the All-Star game. Bouncing puck out front. Ison looking for a second. And it's in a score. The Ravens cut the lead in half. Ward A will cross the bench first. Looks like he'll get credit. Rowan Ison was the closest to the goal line. And just like that, the Ravens get themselves right back in this one. Four oh seven, the time of the goal. Two goals in 26 seconds get the Ravens back into this one. 
So, Ison and Campbell draw assists. That's Rowan Ison. So, for the top prospects, Matthew Suzuki goes for Team Dark to the All Star team. And for the All Stars, Malcolm Campbell. A center on their team dark squad. Check the full list on GMHL.net. Campbell wins the draw below the end line. So the Ravens, two quick goals in 26 seconds. Suddenly they find themselves with lots of time to make a comeback. Allows them to pull the netminder in the game's final minutes as well, so they get that advantage too. A two-goal deficit, certainly looking a lot better than the four they started the period off with. A lot of names on four all-star teams, so I'm not going to go through them all. There's a team white and team dark for both the top prospects and the all-star game. Aiden Wade on the prospect list as well, as is Rowan Eisen. Missed a couple names here. The have to enlarge my font. Something wrong with the Something wrong with Nia Mitka's right goal post. 14.30 on the clock. Surprised those traded Tottenham players aren't on the, I don't see them listed. Talked about Farlado and Golovachev earlier. Perhaps those two with some travel issues. Pollard dull the shot. Hits a stick, sails out of play. 14.02 on the clock. So again, just go to the main gmhl.net site and it'll talk about the players of the month. There's a graphic with like news headlines just slightly down the page. Check out all your all-stars and top prospects. Yeah, Golovachev's in the top five. In scoring. Smirnov takes a bump on the near boards. Well, he's... 
He's axed off in the under the stat leaders, but still listed on the on the South Muskoka Shield. Matt Searles can't hang on to it on the forehand. Shelton out of his net is Neo Mitka. Top prospects going at 5 p.m. Tuesday, January the 17th, the time of the game. The All-Stars go at 8 p.m. Brent Thompson Look to the right, intercepted by Thomas Murphy. Shot upstairs, they go. 5-2 for the Stars. The giveaway by Brent Thompson proves costly as Nathan Ketchison. 7.46, the time of the goal. Stars wearing the white uniform going left to right on your screen. Slipping a check shot off the left wing. Neil Mitka the save off the Thomas Murphy shot. And suddenly off the turnover. Stars right back to looking at regaining their four goal lead. Ketchison, right wing side off the draw, closest to the net, the shot. Nia Mitka catches enough of it to direct it to the near board. Murphy and Stevenson. Stevenson grabbing his first point of the afternoon. Ravens to the power play, 149 to the midway point of the third period. Ravens got themselves right back into this one. Two goals within 26 seconds. But now Nathan Ketchison on the giveaway goes upstairs on Nia Mitka. The Stars lead back to three. Murphy for hitting from behind. From a home standpoint, if this were still the World Juniors, that would have been a five minute major. They don't take too kindly to hitting from behind in international hockey. World Juniors move to Sweden next year. Sweden, a lot of success in the preliminary round. Won that probably unbreakable number of preliminary games. That'll stand as a record for a long, long time. I think, interestingly enough, though, they rarely played Canada, if ever, over that stretch. Sweden usually in the other division. Thompson goes down deep in between the... Prior to the... Canadian victory over the Americans... 
Americans won five of the previous six meetings and all the teams getting better as the years go on. Norway moving up from relegation into the 10-team tournament next year. Russia suspended due to the war with Ukraine. I wonder how that would work. I wonder what team would get relevated. Latvia stayed up with their win over the Swiss. Well, one team presumably would have to move out if Russia were to return. Eisen on the forehand. Brent Thompson. Bright gives a push to the defender. Ravens on the power play for another minute and 39 seconds. Sarnia Sting 5-2 over the Erie Otters this afternoon. Oshawa 3-2 over the Hamilton Bulldogs. Mississauga Steelheads win big over the Sudbury Wolves by a final of 7-2. North Bay Battalion over the Niagara Ice Dogs. That was also a 7-2 score. Ottawa 67s, a win by 4, 5-1 over the Owen Sound Attack. A wrestling match down near side of the net. Stevenson flailing away. I don't know if much connected. In the heat of battle with his X team, Otaki down to the ice. Two Greyhounds doubling up the London Knights, six to three. And the Windsor Spitfires and Flint Firebirds tied at one. They're at the first intermission. Turnover. Nice crowd at the nest here to start the year. Campbell escapes the pressure of Ephraim. No call, Kurt Gibbs taking out Warren A. Appeared to get the stick between the legs, play continues. Losing his stick is Kyle Boyd. The star goes back to the bench. Campbell, an assist on the Warren A goal. 407 into the third. Under eight minutes to go now. So Ravens need to push to turn on the offense. Sullivan a backhand. Nathan Ketchison. The Ketchison goal was the key. The 5-2 goal at 7.46. Because the Ravens just garnered momentum. Cutting the deficit to two. And then Ketchison upstairs off the turnover. Gets one of the two back. The Stars had the... 4-0 lead after 40 minutes. Shot hard off the backboards by Kurt Gibbs. Turnaround shot by Ketchison. 
Nia Metka directs it to the right side. Eisen the clear out. Eisen had a goal and an assist in that 26 second window of opportunity for the Ravens. Otaki the shot. Aiden Robertson opened the scoring in this game, his seventh on the year on the power play at the 14.46 mark. Thomas Murphy, 2-0. Sullivan and Robertson assisting. So Robertson, two first period points. Justice Shulkin, uh, 3.49 and then Lorenzo Sullivan scoring at the buzzer. Malcolm Campbell won the draw from the right circle. But he no-looked the pass right at the buzzer. Won it on the backhand, but the two star forwards were standing right at the far side of the net. Sullivan pokes it in down low. Likely see a different Raven netminder in between the pipes tomorrow night in Durham. Despite trying to get Nia Mitka playing time for his new team, highly unlikely you'll see him play three games in a row. I'd say odds are you might see Matthew Suzuki tomorrow night. Given that he's also made the top prospects team on the 17th of January. Campbell moving into the slot along with Toddington. Shot down low, looked to be sliding wide. Ravens to the power play with 432 left. Ravens got the two goals in the third at 3.42 and 4.07, 26 seconds apart. Rowan Eisen and Tyler Warnay. And then Ketchison for the Stars. Nathan Ketchison goes straight upstairs, up high center of the net. Bad defensive breakdown for the Ravens. 5-2, the Ravens to the power play. Four minutes showing up on the board. D'Souza on the draw. Brent Thompson down the boards for Warren A. Rowan Eisen for his brother Cam. The captain throws it down the left wing side. Two minutes for slashing and two minutes for an unsportsmanlike conduct. Sheldon Purchase. So can't read lips, but obviously some bad language after the slashing call on the part of Sheldon Purchase. Eisen for his brother Rowan Eisen. Now Cam gets it back. Throws it down the near wall. Rowan cycling up high. Throws it down the right wing side. Cam over to the corner and can't quite convert. Rowan Eisen in behind the net out to the right side. D'Souza was open. But D'Souza angled his weight toward the boards. Was ill prepared for the pass. A wide open D'Souza. Cam Eisen taking the shot. They save by Novi. 3.11 remaining in regulation. And 2.39 remaining on the double minor to Sheldon Purchase. 
Ravens three games on the road. Ravens right in the draw. Aiden Waite on the far right wing side. Puck went out of play and then immediately bounced back in. Whistled down immediately. Simon Otaki with Papadopoulos on him. Otaki waits patiently, drops to the right side for Pollard Dahl. Over to Jacob Schuker. Schuker down the left wing, side of the net, in behind the net. Quick pass out. Otaki the shot, Novi the save. 2.42 on the clock and 2.10 remaining on the Raven power play. Ravens in Durham tomorrow night in Northumberland for the return matchup next Friday. An empty net and the Stars convert. Jaden Cumming, a downed Raven. Ravens elected to pull Neo Mitka. Some loud cheering down to our left, so some obvious support from up north. This weekend, really, some good driving weather had higher than normal temperatures. My cousin goes to college up past North Bay, so a good weekend for traveling. 17-26. Gibbs and Stevenson, the assist. Ison shot by Toddington. Picked off, throwing down the ice. Nia Mitka around the boards for Campbell. Under two minutes to go. Ravens still on the power play. But now back to a four-goal deficit following the empty net goal. Off the back of the foot of Toddington, a turnover allows Lorenzo Sullivan to take the shot. Nia Mitka the save. Just outside of a minute to go. Not an impossibility, but a lot of work to do for St. George. As we approach the one minute mark, Kyler Ephraim through center. Merzantis the shot, directed to the corner by the Raven netminder. So looks to be a win and a loss in the opening debut weekend for Owen Niamitka. He gets the more desired playing time. Lucas Del Rizzo now a free agent. That based on save percentage, he had the lowest save percentage amongst Raven netminders. Northumberland's next game is the home game against St. George. Then they're at North York the 11th of January at Bancroft Sunday, January the 22nd, a 1.30 start. Ravens five or four home games now. This was the fifth of the five home games. Thirty-eight point five on the clock. 
their last regular season game at home against Windsor. Won the last home meeting against Windsor. The, that was the last home game before Christmas. An 8-2 final. So it may allow the Ravens to get in. May start the playoffs earlier this year. Round one seemed to end 4.5 on the clock. Some minor pushing and shoving in the game's final minutes by Merzantis and Matt Brady. Looks like the refs calling a high stick to Brady. The quarterfinals done last year by the end of the first week of March. Ravens may get some much needed rest to you know, to get injuries cleared up as well, given they're done the regular season the 19th of February. The Northumberland Stars celebrate victory this afternoon, their 12th victory on the season to move to 26 points as they win it by a final of six to two. The final shots on goal. The Ravens even the shots at 30 apiece, but they're down this afternoon in the first home game of the new year by four. Lucas Novi moves a game above 500 in the one loss column. Seven and six is Novi on the year. And he lowers his goals against average as well. 348, the goals against average for Novi heading into this afternoon. Owen Niamitka dropping his first game as a member of the Ravens following the victory 5-4 in Windsor last night for the St. George Ravens Hockey Club. I'm John Molson, your final here this afternoon, Northumberland victorious by four six to two please keep watching gmhl.tv tomorrow night at 8 p.m start as the ravens hit the road to face the durham roadrunners i'll be next with you on sunday january the 22nd a 3 p.m. start against those same Durham Roadrunners. A reminder, no home game next week. Thanks for watching. Remember to watch the game tomorrow night in Durham. And I'll be back with you in two weeks' time as the Ravens host those same Roadrunners. A 3 p.m. start. Good afternoon and have a great evening. A happy new year as you move forward into 2023. Thanks for watching GMHL.TV and your St. George Ravens on YouTube.